Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, I know it's been a long time since I've done a uh, video update. Uh, it's been way, way too long. Um, so I just kind of wanted to give you guys a uh, another update <laughs> on what in the world uh, has been going on and, and why I've kind of disappeared or did disappear for a little bit. Uh, basically, um, if I can kind of explain it, um, I basically just took some time to just focus on some of my personal business stuff that, that I have to attend to to uh, help fund the car. So uh, so I needed to do that. And also, um, if you guys remember in one of my late, latest uh, videos, I had you know, met a group of people that were interested in helping to, uh, to take the car to the next level. and you know, help get funding and all that stuff. So uh, basically, you know, because it was the winter months and things and it was cold and really couldn't do a whole lot of uh, uh, composite work or fiberglass work or body work on the car, uh, which is all that it really needs at this stage right now. Um, it was just uh, just too cold. So it was better to take that time and, and use it for more of the uh, business development side of things. and go after uh, investments and try to get the funding needed to take this to the next stage. So that's basically what I've been working on and, and uh, what I'm still working on uh, and all that. Now the weather's getting better and so I've kind of started to do some cleanup work on some of the lines on the car and um, you know started to uh, get back on into some of the fab work that's needed. But, um, but mostly, you know, it was just, uh, I, I needed to take some time to kind of rebuild my own funds uh, and work on the business plan and go after some uh, investments, opportunities, and just see, you know, what, what I could do to try to get this car to that, to that next level that I'm trying to get it to, you know. It's not, this is not like a kit car that I'm trying to produce. You know, I'm trying to really produce a real manufactured vehicle uh, under a, you know, manufactured company name and everything. So it's a lot to set up for that. It costs a lot of money and uh, it's, it's kind of crazy. So there will be a whole lot to tell to this story later um, when, when things do take off and funding does come for this, which uh, I'm pretty certain that, it, that it's going to. Uh, if you guys remember, um, you know, I, I was uh, talking in the last videos about, you know, these guys that were helping with with uh, getting the funds needed to, to do this. And in the process, you know, we really have met a lot of people and put together a, a pretty good sized team uh, that are all good people, uh, very smart and um, just the right type of people to, to take this to that next stage. And, uh, and so really the biggest part of it was the funding. And luckily we, we came across some investor guys that, uh, that you guys will hopefully meet soon, some point, um, that are wanting to support the project. So it's, it's taken a little bit to kind of finalize everything and, and finish getting everything uh, set up on that end. So I'm hoping, you know, in the next uh, month, I, I'm hoping that, you know, we'll, we will be flying full force on the vehicle and the money will be there and the funds will be there to uh, start getting everything that we need to get this to the prototype stage and into manufacturing. So kind of crazy uh, to uh, think about it all like that, but that's really what's been going on. And like I said, it's, it's been, it's been a lot of work. <laughs> uh, I can't, I, I, I have to probably do like a whole video series on just what it takes to put together uh, a plan and get your idea out there from, from your thoughts and get it onto paper and get it into a plan. And then, you know, where to take it, you know, from there, you know, how do you approach people and how do you get the word out and how do you get uh, you know investors interested to even consider or look at your project 
which is really difficult. I mean, especially in this uh, this you know time that we're in right now, uh, it's it's kind of a crazy financial state that the country's in. Um, but you know, luckily, we have a couple of guys that are very um, passionate also about this project and really want to to be part of this and have fun with it and take it to the next level and do something unique and different and you know really start a car company that is unlike any other I think so we have a lot of those uh, uh, opportunities ahead of us and just have a couple of little hurdles to to get through so uh, hopefully in the next uh, few weeks or so we'll I'll have a Whole different kind of video going on <laughs> about everything but but yeah so that's basically it I mean you know the it's been a long time and I know you guys probably expect to see more done to the car uh, you know I certainly would want to see more done to the car too um, but you know it's it comes down to money and I, I have to uh, still work my day job stuff and pay the bills and uh, pay my taxes which I don't even want to go into that right now, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, you know. So um, I did do like some of the Kickstarter stuff and the Indiegogo campaign, but that turned out to be a dud. Basically, um, I did the whole Kickstarter deal. I was doing the sculpting of you probably see it in the video right there. I got my I'm on my phone, so if the quality is kind of crazy. That's <coughs> that's why. So. Uh, so yeah, so the Kickstarter deal was like, I had it all approved and um, I had, you know, set up all my perks and I did everything that I was, you know, needing to do to get everybody excited and jump on board. And I think a lot of you guys are interested in that and, and it was going to be great and cool and, and all that. So, uh, so Kickstarter changed their terms <laughs> and policies and they basically don't allow any, you know, automotive products whatsoever so they basically just shut my whole campaign down and said I couldn't do it and blah blah uh, and then so I moved everything over to Indiegogo and and uh, it just there's just not the audience there to support the the car and to get the kind of funding that I need you know I'd, I'd have to give out like really crazy perks and by the time I paid for all the perks and did all the shipping uh, I would have had to have earned like, you know, a million plus dollars and to, to end up with the kind of funding that I needed, you know, I mean, you got to look at the, these crowdfunding things that whatever money you raise on the crowdfunding, about half of that <laughs> is going to go to paying the service, paying the credit card service and paying to have the product uh, made or developed or shipped out. So you really have to make a lot, uh, double or more to to end up with a successful campaign and it I just wasn't seeing that happening with you know this this project um, maybe on Kickstarter I think it could have had a better chance but you know Kickstarter's to me is kind of going downhill they've they've added so many um, regulations I guess or I don't really know just so many things that they've shut off and shut everybody out of that it's made it difficult uh, you know to to do stuff on there unless you're just trying to make a video game or uh, I don't know just uh, maybe a music label or something but <laughs> uh, anyway so that didn't really work out like I was hoping um, I'll probably still finish the, uh, the sculpture deal and uh, you know do like a little uh, contest or something and give that away. I have a bunch of other things I need to give away like I don't even like I have like some people uh, did like these little laser cut things which I don't know if that's frontwards or backwards when I'm showing it to you but um, you know so I have a bunch of things like that. I, you guys I don't know if you've seen this. This is a 3D print of what the badge will look like on the side of the car. One example of it. So there's a lot of things that I've been doing um, over the past several months with everything, uh, kind of preparing for this next uh, stage and where we plan to take all this. So 
Right now is the, the big funding part of it. And if the, uh, the investors come through with, with their part of everything, then it's gonna be game on and it's gonna be very exciting. Uh, the videos are going to happen a lot more <laughs> and we will have a lot to, uh, to share and a lot of new people to introduce in the videos and a lot of big news. So, like I said, there's a lot that I really can't go into just yet. Um, and I know it, it seems kind of like it's the project stalled or something like that, but it's really moving good as far as getting it to that next level. And I'll keep saying that, but uh, it's a very important stage uh, to to get this to where you know we all envision this, you know, because like I said, this isn't a one-off car. This is not a kit car. Uh, it's going to be a production car, and we need it to stand up against all the top cars out there. You know, whether it's uh, the Porsches or Ferraris or you know the new Viper, the new Corvette, all of that. It has to stand up to those cars. I mean, that is the goal, and that is a uh, it's a huge goal. <laughs> uh, and but you know, I mean, it's exciting because okay, so. I, <laughs> My phone just cut off because somebody just Facebook me. <laughs> but uh, like I said, um, you know, it's a it's a huge deal to uh, to take this to that to that to that next level of, of quality of a car and production vehicle. So that is the uh, the end game to all of this and where we are, you know, setting our sights and where we plan to take this. Uh, but uh, anyway, so. That's basically it. Just want to give you guys a quick update. Um, I know this video is going on kind of long, but uh, I'll try to do some more video uh, more regularly. I, I know I keep saying that. Um, maybe you guys can ask some questions if you if you want, and I'll try to answer them in the video uh, while we're going through this stage that we're in right now. And and that way I can continue doing some videos and giving you guys some good content uh, and maybe answer some good questions and stuff. Kind of like I did on some of the foam stuff early on uh, that I can maybe address uh, that you guys have questions about. And maybe even on the business side of things, you know. Um, so, uh, yeah, I guess uh, just uh, comment in the comments. Shoot me emails. Uh, go to my Facebook. Uh, all my other social craziness. And let me know your thoughts. I'll uh, see you guys next time. Bye.